Hello, I'm here today with the next chapter of my talk on loneliness. I'm Dr. Jana Studnitska, founder of the Intimate Revolution Festival, a festival designed to end loneliness and bad sex. And today I want to talk about loneliness again. So the last time we talked a bit about the evolution of loneliness, how evolution evolved with the human species, and why it is an important topic today. And today I think it's first important to say, to get this question of is, is there a pandemic of loneliness? And if there is a lo loneliness epidemic, how bad is it? What does it actually do to humans? Short answers, it seems like there is a loneliness epidemic, yes. And second, yeah, it's very, very bad for the human body. People die a lot faster and suffer a lot more if they are lonely. But now for the long part. So how many people are suffering from loneliness? In the US, the CLIM report that asked 10,000 Americans showed numbers of about 61% suffering from loneliness, especially the younger generations, generations which suffered up to 79% of loneliness. Then if you look at uh, numbers from Germany that they found in elder people, older people that about 10% of the population suffers from loneliness. In the UK it's actually 6 to 18% people who suffer from loneliness. But of course, I think it's important to note that the numbers are different because the numbers don't only really show how many people are lonely, but also since these are mostly questionnaires, it's how many people perceive themselves as lonely and how many people are willing to admit that they are lonely, even if it's just for an online questionnaire. If you look at the numbers, you see that there are two peaks in age groups. So if you have here the experience of loneliness and here you have the 18 years, you see that here you have one group that feels very lonely and this is mostly teenagers because they're... Um, the scientist Cacioppo, John Cacioppo talks about that because this um, identity changes so much in teenagers and one gets to re-evaluate where you stand in, the, in your society, in your community. So this is what's causing this peak in loneliness in young people. And then there's another pe peak in lonely uh, in elderly people. Um, for obvious reason, it's, yeah, because it gets harder and harder to leave your house because of health impairments, like not being able to heal well, because of mental health issues, etc. So there is a lot of people suffering from loneliness. But what does this actually do on the human body? So the short version is, loneliness is stress, especially when it gets chronic, it starts to get really, really bad. Because chronic stress leads to an increase of cortisol. And that has a lot of negative consequences for the body. For example, the immune system gets suppressed. So you have more infections, you have more inflammation in the body. The risk of becoming, of having a stroke rises by up to 30%. Um, the oxidative stress in the body also rises. So your probability of developing cancer rises. The regeneration in cells is suppressed. So you age faster. The chronic sympathicus tonus is raised. So you have a higher blood pressure, a higher heart rate. Um, so when scientists looked at that, like Julian Holt Lundstedt in 2010 in a big paper where she compared different numbers on loneliness and mortality. She found that loneliness is as bad for the human body as smoking 15 cigarettes a day and loneliness 
is even worse for health than obesity. In 2015, she published another paper where she showed that the risk of dying for lonely people is increased by 26%. 26%, that's a lot. Then there was another paper by Hurley, it's 1998, who showed, for example, that after getting a coronary bypass, if you're lonely, your risk for dying after that operation, your mortality is increased by five times. So you're five times more likely to die after a difficult surgery than when you're connected, than when you're happy with the relationships that you have in your life. So yeah, loneliness is stress for the body. Loneliness um, activates our fight and flight system. This um, ability of our body to instantly run away from a predator or fight and face a threat and be there. So I think it makes a lot of sense when we look at loneliness data and also see that People who are lonely sleep a lot worse. They have a lot of those uh, micro awakenings because we need our tribe, we need our community, we need to feel connected to really get to this deep level sleep. So a predator cannot just approach us in the middle of the night. Um, and yeah, and also our ability to recognize a threat is a lot faster in lonely people. It only takes lonely people 150 microseconds to recognize a threat in instead of connected people where it takes 300 milliseconds, so double as much. And what does loneliness on mental health? And there it might be even worse. So what loneliness does is it raises the level for anxiety and depression. It is bad for sleep. It is also bad for self-regulation and lifestyle. People who are lonely tend to work out less, tend to eat more unhealthy, tend to smoke more and tend to drink more and do more drugs. And there's this huge correlation to be found even with schizophrenia, with addiction and yes, with suicide. In experiments it has been shown that people who are just... Um, been made to feel lonely for just a little bit of time, they instantly feel a bit more sad, they feel more shy, they feel more anxiety, especially in social interactions, and they get more afraid to be negatively evaluated. Their self-confidence drops, so does their social skills. And even the dopamine system in, our, in the brain is being changed. So the system that is so important for learning, for rewards, the system that makes us strive for things because we get that dopamine rush, this system gets influenced if we're chronically lonely. So yeah, that was the physical and psych... Um, physical and psychological impact of loneliness on humans and the next time I'm gonna talk about one of the remedies for loneliness which is touch. <laughs> Thank you so much and see you next time. Bye bye.